हेलो एवरीवन तो दोस्तों कैसे हैं आप सब उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आप सब ठीक ठाक होंगे खुश होंगे और अपनी लाइफ एकदम ज़बरदस्त तरीके से जी रहे होंगे और दोस्तों आज फिर से एक और खूबसूरत सी वीडियो पर रिएक्शन करने वाला हूँ और इस वीडियो का काफ़ी टाइम पहले जो है मतलब मुझे रिक्वेस्ट की गई थी कि इस वीडियो पर रिएक्ट कीजिए और इस वीडियो का टाइटल है डू इंडियंस नो अबाउट इंडिया इंडिया इज रिक्लेमिंग सुपर पुअर टू सुपर पावर तो देखते हैं कि ये कैसी मतलब जर्नी है इस सारी वीडियो के अंदर जो दिखाई गई है इंडिया की पोअर से सुपर पावर होने तक तो चल के अपनी वीडियो देखते हैं और इस वीडियो को ओरिजिनल लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा आप वहां से देख सकते हैं तो चलिए अपनी ये वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं the national capital region kolkata chennai hyderabad bengaluru the change is becoming more and more visible bilkul sahi baat hai The country has brought 271 million people out of poverty between the years of 2005 to 2016. यार कितनी बुरी बात है. The country has brought 271 million people out of poverty. मतलब 2005 से लेके 2016 तक इंडिया में 271 million लोग लोगों को जो है वो गुरबत की लकीर से ऊपर लेके आए आए हैं मतलब कितना ज़्यादा यूँ कह लें कि आपकी इकोनॉमिकल जो है ना यूँ कह लें कि ग्रोथ बढ़ी है कितना ज़्यादा मुल्क के अंदर लोगों को मतलब सहूलियात मिली होंगी कितना उनका रोज़गार बढ़ा होगा ये बहुत बड़ी बात है Standard Chartered's long-term forecast expects India to become the world's second largest economy by 2030, only wow. in the US and becoming second only to China. It should be noted that India has already become the third largest economy in purchasing power terms, and wow. in normal terms, it is the sixth largest in the world. According to the Center for International Development at Harvard University, the economic fall of global growth has moved over the past few years from China to neighboring India, where it is likely to stay over the coming decade. In terms of economic progress, is India becoming the next China? मतलब तभी मैं कहूँ कि यार इंडिया जो है ना इंडिया के साथ जो है चाइना को हर जगह पे कहीं ना कहीं मतलब जो प्रॉब्लम होती है क्योंकि उनको दिखता है कि आने वाले टाइम्स में हो सकता है जो इंडिया जो है वो रिप्लेस कर दे चाइना को और वो दुनिया की एक बहुत बड़ी इकोनॉमी मतलब इकोनॉमिक इकोनॉमिकल पावर के तौर पे यूँ कह लें कि वो सामने आए क्योंकि जिस तरह से ऑलरेडी वो मतलब खत्े के अंदर बहुत बड़ी एक वो मार्केट है और बहुत ज़्यादा यूँ कह लें कि उनकी एक साख है इस लिहाज से तभी इंडिया जो है वो मतलब चाइना को हर जगह पे कहीं ना कहीं यूँ कह लें कि चुभता है India, an ancient land with growing young population, is an emerging market power. It is entirely possible for it to become the next China and poses great attraction to the world's capital. The Chinese think tank's apprehensions are not unfounded. Leading international business leaders, think tanks and global CEOs now consider India as one of the most attractive destinations for investment and technology transactions. What are the conditions that are favoring India? What are the factors that have brought India to the world center stage? What is it that makes India one of the largest growth engines in the world? My name is Karuna Goswami, and in this episode, you will become familiarized a little bit more with the world's largest democracy and the country which is going to play a key role in shaping the future of our planet. Wow. India is the number one of shopping destination in the world, accounting for approximately 55% market share of the global services sourcing business. 
Indian IT companies have a presence in more than 80 countries and Indian IT giant TCS is set to become the world's third largest IT services company. Wow. India has the world's third largest startup ecosystem. It is expected that by 2034, the Indian e-commerce industry will overtake the US to become the second largest e-commerce market. Second India largest. The second largest telecom network in the world and it is expected to have a total internet user base of more than 800 million by 2021. Oh, India has more than million. 250 million school students, which is more than any other country. The country has become the second largest market for e-learning after the US. Wow. A report by Ernst and Young stated that by 2030, the emergence of a robust higher education system would enable India to have more than 20 universities among the global top 200. In terms of scientific output, India ranks fifth in the world, and by 2030, it is expected to climb up to third. In 2017, India ranked first in the Global Retail Development Index. By 2030, it is set to become the third largest consumer market. The number of operational airports in India will rise to 200 in two decades, and by 2024, it will overtake the UK to become the third largest airport center market. Ports, come on, Lea, come on, Lea. ambitious infrastructure projects are rapidly changing the face of India. The country is already building a bullet train infrastructure and it is also working on the Hyperloop. India's state-of-the-art train A team, which is a semi-high-speed indigenously built train, has already found many global admirers who have expressed an interest in importing it. India is already creating a web of modern urban metro networks in its big cities. After the completion of Phase 4, the Delhi Metro will become the third largest metro network in the world with a total length of approximately 450 kilometers. With more than 7,000 freight trains carrying 3 million tons of freight daily and more than 12,000 passenger trains with 23 million travelers on board every day, the Indian Railways, with its 115,000 kilometer network and more than 7,000 stations, is among the world's largest. Spanning over 5.5 million kilometers, India has the world's second largest road network. Whoa. And by 2022, the country is expected to have a national highway network of 200,000 kilometers. 200,000 kilometers. India is the second largest steel producer in the world. It is also the second largest producer of steel and cement. The second largest. market in India will grow nearly twice as fast as China up to 2030 and the country is expected to overtake Japan to become the world's third largest construction market by 2021. Great. Thanks to these solid indicators, there shouldn't be any surprise that the Indian real estate industry is expected to be the third largest in the world by 2030. India is already the second largest mobile phone manufacturer in the world. It is the third largest producer of coal and fourth largest producer of iron ore. The country is the world's largest cutting and polishing center for diamonds, and in 2017, it exported 75% of the world's polished diamonds. By 2020, it is expected to become the fifth largest manufacturing country in the world. In 2017, India became the fourth largest auto market. It is already the largest manufacturer of two-wheelers and tractors in the world. It is the world's third largest heavy truck manufacturer and fourth largest car producer. By 2020, it is expected to become fourth largest manufacturer of automobiles globally, and the Indian auto components industry is set to become the third largest in the world by 2025. Jaguar, Range Rover, and Sandian Motors are owned by Indian companies. Wow! India's national healthcare program, Ayushman Bharat, is the largest government-funded healthcare program in the world. The country also contributes immensely to global healthcare. India is the top supplier of doctors to both the UK and the USA. Indian hospitals receive nearly 500,000 international patients annually, and medical tourism in the country is expected to touch 8 billion US dollars by 2020. It is difficult to imagine how the world would be able to combat AIDS without Indian input. 
Globally, over 80% of the antiretroviral drugs which are used to combat AIDS are supplied by India. 30% of the annual UNICEF requirement of antiretroviral drugs is supplied by India. Indian drugs are exported to more than 200 countries in the world. Since India is the largest provider of generic drugs globally, it is also known as the pharmacy of the world. मतलब यार कितनी सारी चीज़ें हैं मतलब जिनके बारे में हमें जो है वो पता ही नहीं है कितनी सारी चीज़ें हैं जिनके मतलब जिनका ताल्लुक जो है स्पेशली इंडिया से है जैसे इंडिया यू एस ए और यू के में सबसे ज़्यादा डॉक्टर्स भेजता है and the country's massive pharmaceutical industry is the source of more than 50% of global demand for various vaccines. India's rich culture and spiritual foundational wisdom are its big assets. It is the land which gave birth to pro-environment traditions like Aparigraha. It shouldn't be a surprise that India secured the best score in the Green Tech survey and emerged as one of the least wasteful economies. This is a Karbi traditional home. These traditional tribal homes are one of the finest displays of India's rich heritage. They represent a combination of intelligent engineering and sustainable living, which is totally relevant in the 21st century. The Indian state, Sikkim, has become the role model for the entire world in organic farming. It is the world's first 100% organic state. Fruit and vegetable production, tea production, silk production, bamboo genetic resources. India ranks second in the world in all these departments. In other agricultural commodities like rice, wheat and pulses, it is also among the top producers. With as many as 8,000 species, India is the world's second largest exporter of medicinal plants. It is the world's largest producer of dairy and globally, India has been the largest milk producing country since 1997. After the United States, Japan and China, India is the fourth largest producer of agrochemicals. Some of the biggest solar farms of the world are located in India. The Indian renewable energy sector is the fourth most attractive renewable energy market in the world and the country is well positioned to surpass its 2022 renewable energy target. In Paris, India pledged that by 2030, 40% of its installed capacity will come from renewable sources, and it is expected that by 2050, renewables will supply 75% of electricity in India. Thorium is considered to be the nuclear fuel of the future, and India has one of the largest shares of global thorium reserves. India is expected to have 30.5 million international tourist arrivals by 2028, but its real potential is a lot more. With 26 biotic provinces, 10 biogeographical zones, more than 30 World Heritage Sites, a 7,000 km coastal line, as well as its mountains, deserts, rainforests, islands, volcano, salt flats, wildlife and tribal habitation, India is incredibly diversified. Its 29 states, 7 union territories, 4,000 cities and 600,000 villages have a lot of hidden potential. Bilkul Many of them are not yet fully explored and discovered. In 2017, India ranked first in the world's first digital travel rankings when it was revealed that it had the most digitally advanced travelers. There is no denying that India is emerging as a lucrative expert destination. It is the 12th best country to live in as an expert. It is far ahead of countries like the USA, the UK, Japan and China. India-based experts earn an average of $176,000, which means that they are the second highest paid in the world. On the other hand, Indians who are living outside India have performed exceptionally well and have rightfully earned the tag of model minority. In both the UK and the USA, the Indian community has been outperforming other ethnic groups academically and economically. India is also the world's top recipient of remittances 
as its price for us and 79 billion US dollars back home in 2018. The country is also expected to benefit from the reverse brain drain, from its film industry to its space agency and defense. India's growth can be seen across a very broad spectrum. In terms of ticket sales and number of films made, India has the world's largest film industry. World's largest, largest film industry. And its military is the fourth strongest in the world. Fourth strongest. Its space agency, ISRO, has already reached Mars and now it is planning to send humans to space. For its commercial arm, Antrix, it has launched hundreds of foreign satellites for multiple developed and developing nations. This may all sound very impressive, but for India, this is just the beginning. It wants to attain self-dependence in core technologies and it wants to participate in the fourth industrial revolution. But will India be able to earn its rightful place in the powerful and influential global forums which are dominated by the Western nations? Will India be able to help those forums become truly global and truly democratic by challenging the existing supremacy of the Western powers? Will India be able to protect its citizens from tech colonization? And will it be able to have a stronger voice in the global media? Will India be able to protect its identity from the Western religious and commercial monocultures which are homogenizing its cultures and diversity? Will it be able to learn the best global practices and will it be able to preserve the best that it has? Unlike others, will India be able to use its science for global public good and not just for commercial returns? Those who are concerned about India's economic development's impact on the environment should also understand that India's historical emissions are extremely low in comparison to other global powers. Just because the financial prosperity of many developed nations and colonial powers came at the cost to the environment and through the mystery of colonized nations, it does not mean that there are no other ways to walk the path to prosperity through its approach of universal familyhood, which is rooted in its ancient foundation wisdom, India's practicing what others could only preach. The world should take note of that. See you again. हाँ जी तो ये थी हमारी आज की वीडियो यार बहुत ही ज़बरदस्त और इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो थी मतलब उसमें कितनी ही सारी चीज़ें दिखाई गई ऑलमोस्ट इन एवरी डिपार्टमेंट इंडिया इज़ इन टॉप फाइव मैं कहूँगा मतलब चाहे वो दूध का मतलब शोबा हो कि इंडिया जो है वो लार्जेस्ट मिल्क प्रोड्यूसर एक कंट्री है उसके साथ मेडिसन जो वो प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं और डॉक्टर्स वहाँ पर बहुत ज़्यादा हैं और यूँ कह लें कि मतलब ट्री प्लांट्स हर जगह पे जो है ना हर शोबे के अंदर चाहे डायमंड का हो या कुछ भी बहुत ज़्यादा मतलब यूँ कह लें कि वहाँ पे और इवन दो मतलब मोबाइल्स की जो बात करें वहाँ पे वो भी बहुत ज़्यादा जो है आईटी के डिपार्टमेंट में भी हर जगह पे जो है इंडिया मतलब इन टॉप रैंक एक कंट्री है इसी वजह से मतलब यूँ कह लें कि उस तरह की जो दूसरी इकनॉमिकल मतलब पावर्स हैं वर्ल्ड की वो काफ़ी ज़्यादा जो है इस चीज़ को लेके जो टेंशन में भी रहती हैं स्पेशली हमारे नेबरिंग जो चाइना है वहाँ पे भी मतलब इस चीज़ का लगा रहता है कि और जापान हो गया यूके यूएसए ये जो बड़े कंट्रीज़ हैं मतलब इस तरह के जो मतलब कह लें कि पूरी दुनिया की जो जो मतलब मार्किट है उसको यूँ कह लें कि एक तरह से टेक ओवर करना चाहते हैं तो उनकी दौड़ में जो है वो इंडिया और वो जैसे उन्होंने बताया कि Uh, मतलब नेक्स्ट जो दो डिकेट्स हैं उनके अंदर जो है मतलब इंडिया वो बहुत ज़्यादा मज़ीद तरक्की कर जाएगा तो अल्लाह करे कि ऐसा हो तो क्योंकि कोई भी है मतलब यूँ कह लें कि हर इंसान जो होता है उसका यही मतलब उसकी ख्वाहिश होती है कि जहाँ वो रहता है तो वो जगह तरक्की करे किसी तरह आपके जो पड़ोसी होते हैं उनके लिए भी आपको जो है वो अच्छा ही सोचना चाहिए ताकि सबका मतलब भला हो इसी में सब की भलाई है तो ये थी हमारी आज की वीडियो अगली किसी ऐसी ही वीडियो में मिलते हैं तब तक अपना बहुत सारा ख्याल रखिए और चैनल को ज़रूर सब्सक्राइब कर लें ताकि मेरी आने वाली वीडियोस आप तक बकायदगी से पहुंचती रहें तो अपना बहुत सारा ख्याल रखिएगा अल्लाह हाफिज़